Good day, everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Module 3 VLAN lab. So, um, this lab, as the instructions say, is a bit lengthy because of how many computers there are to set up. Um, I do recommend starting early, and I'm also here to help if you need it. But anyway, let's go over some specific information you need to understand. So, first, as you see, there's eight computers, but you need to pay very close attention to the details of this um, topology. For example, you need to um, make sure that you assign the exact ports on the switch to these computers. If you don't do that, um, your lab will fail. This lab won't work. So make sure you copy the um, port numbers exa exactly as you see them. Um, if we go to the um, network I used for um, my module lecture, so you see this little ABC and snake button. If you click that you can actually toggle on and off the port numbers now when you when you um, configure every put everything together and then click this the numbers are going to be all over the place I would probably recommend clicking this before starting the lab it might help with that but make sure you adjust these little port numbers as you go along otherwise they're going to be a confusing mess so another thing to keep in mind here is the number of subnets here so we're actually going to be building two VLANs we're going to be using and there's two subnets here. So one of them, one of them is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet, which is applied to PC1, PC2, PC5, and PC6. And then there's 192.168.2.0 slash 24 subnet, applied to, which is applied to the remaining computers. Please make sure you pay attention to these subnets and uh, make sure you copy the IP addresses that are assigned on this topology to your own topology. Otherwise, again, this lab will fail if you don't. You, know, you will have a lot of trouble if you don't do that. So recording the MAC addresses, um, if you look at my command guide, um, all you have to do is um, type in the let's see, show MAC address table command. It's right here in my command guide. Um, but yeah, that's pretty simple. You just do that on all the computers. So when you're assigning the VLANs, um, you, can use what's, you can use this range command. Now, at first, when you start this lab, you need to make them all all six. You need, need to make all sixteen interfaces access. Put them in access mode. You need to make them access ports. So then you create the VLANs, which it actually does give you the commands here. I actually forgot it did. And then, um, then you assign these ports that you made access ports to the specific VLANs, and then you repeat that for the other side of the switch. So, um, some questions here. You need to pay attention to is um, why are you unable to P PC3 and PC1? Let's take a look at the topology here. So there's a reason here you can't communicate, or why PC1 can't communicate with PC3. So for one thing, you'll be assigning different VLANs here, and these are also in different subnets. You want to keep that in mind as you um, answer these questions. Now PC1 and PC5 are also not able to communicate with one another. Now there's a certain Thing or type of thing you need to commute or configure between the two switches before you can implement multi-layer VLANs or multi-switch VLANs. So um, trunking, um, there's just some configuration questions you can answer by doing show commands. Um, this question here is in your textbook, and um, again show commands here. So also, which VLANs are tagged when the traffic crosses over the network and which VLANs are not tagged? This is important. So 802.1Q trunking um, does not tag a certain type of subnet called a native VLAN. Keep that in mind as you do this. Finally, um, let's see. So there's also these ping tests here. You can show screenshots here for me. Um, and then you can kind of like give a sentence or a few sentences on what happened and why or why or not it didn't work. Um, things, details such as if the PCs are on the same VLAN or not, if the trunking worked, if layer three networking or how layer the subnets um, affected the ping test. Those are all things to keep in mind. And finally, this last question here. Um, there's one port. That's your. If you look back here about this this port and MAC addresses. Note that this, here's a little hint. These ports here are trunking ports. Um, keep that in mind for the MAC address table. Your textbook will probably have a little more to say on that, but anyway, that's, that's it for this little um, lecture. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any trouble with this lab, um, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm more than happy to provide some help if you need it. Thanks again. Have a good day.